Hey guys, Angry Guy here. And this is not a story you hear every day, especially in our now PC inclusive culture, but that doesn't change the fact that this actually happened. So Alabama, as you guys can see on the screen now, Alabama Public Television banned same-sex wedding episode. Alabama Public Television refused to air an episode of children's show Arthur that featured same-sex wedding. So I'll give you guys a little bit of the backstory on this. An episode recently aired of Arthur where Mr. Ratburn decided to get married and it turned out that he was getting married to, uh, to a man and basically this you know it did turn some heads however for the most part it died down but now this Alabama is refusing to actually air the episode and they actually have strong reasons why they're choosing not to do it so a lot of that has to do with they feel that parents would they would be it would essentially be a betrayal to parents to air the episode because most parents would not know that this is being shown. On the other hand, Arkansas has actually stated that they will be airing the episode unedited. So take from that what you will. It's just really interesting that something like this could still actually happen in uh, in the country. I didn't. I I never thought in a million years that uh, an American television station would ban something like this, but. I mean, there you absolutely have it. And, uh, you know, I'm reserving my thoughts on, you know, on the right, on right or wrong regarding it. Rather, I'm just thinking about it critically that we're seeing a, a real pushback now to the, uh, to, to the PC culture. I mean, I forget if it was Alabama recently where they also just uh, banned late, uh, banned like very, put very restrictive, uh, very restri very restrictive rules on pregnancy termination, the, the most uh, strictest in the country. And you have to think about this now that you know we're really pushing more and more every day towards a society that is pushing away PC and becoming more conservative. And I've talked about this before, where the pendulum often swings far to the left and then it swing, you know it'll swing to the left and then it's going to swing far to the right before settling somewhere in the middle and things went so far to the left that at this point I think that it might just make it might be making a roundabout and end up all the way on the right so I mean this is just something that we have to consider it's uh it's it's, it's really interesting because I did not foresee them doing this especially in very liberal America today. And, you know, now we're seeing this pushback. And it's 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 really big pushback to have a children's show see a ban in the United States on a, on a public broadcasting station. I mean, what are your personal thoughts on this situation? Do you think that the station was right to do it? Do you think that, well, do you think that the state, because this actually came from the state, do you think that the state was right to intervene in this matter? Or do you think that it was something that they should have allowed parents to decide if they wanted their children to watch or not? I mean, the argument by the state of Alabama is that most children, most parents would simply not expect that to be displayed on Arthur. And uh, as a result, that's why they've made that decision. So I mean, it's it's definitely a it's definitely something that we have to consider more of, and it's definitely something that we will, we potentially could see more of happening in the future. And uh, I mean, you know, we have the elections coming up next year. We have the presidential elections coming up next year, and they're really looking like they're going to be a doozy in some ways. You know, I mean. It's looking like Trump is going to end up winning by a landslide at this point, which is probably the reason why they're trying so hard right now to continue pushing 
the Russian investigation, the probe, and a number of other things. But yeah, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on them banning the episode? Do you think it was the right move? Do you think it was wrong? Do you think that it's a step backwards for diversity? I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I'm going to reserve judgment on the matter. And instead, I want to know what you guys think. So we'll go ahead and talk about it more there. Love God, get money, and cheers. For those of you that want to know the game that I'm actually pl that I'm playing in the background, it's actually called Nino Kuni 2. The first one was really good, and the second one came out afterwards. Uh, I believe it's exclusively on PS4. Uh, I mean, again, I really like the first one. So if you want to know what it is, it's called Nino Kuni 2, and you can check that out on Amazon, or you can look at it. you can actually review footage and reviews for it on IG and on GameStop first. Kotaku, I'm not so big on Kotaku, so I would ne not necessarily recommend Kotaku, but you can, you can you can search around, and there's of course going to be tons of great reviews on YouTube as well. All right, so yeah, cheers. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, it's funny because like I'm supposed to end the video now, and it's like you don't want to end the video, you don't want to end the video. You're just like, but you know, you gotta end the video. All right.